very aggressive deck from uh, Arno. All right. Didn't quite see all the cards that Paradine is mulling away. Okay, from what I remember on Mario, I agree with those tokens. Keeping Reap is possibly a mistake. I guess you could theoretically uh, keeping it to discard for basic action early because it's one of the ones that's going to be harder to play on the first pass of the deck. Okay, aggressive start from Maru. Clearly sees himself, herself as the beat down here. Um, hey, Jay. Hey, uh... and typically, with more advanced players, you don't see them throwing out their whole hand immediately, but that is actually the right play against Utsuro, because you are, especially if you're expecting to get by Dark Pulse, uh, on the second turn. Oh. Okay. Hello. Oh. I think in this situation you probably yeah dump torpedo probably reap to some point. Honestly, you might even dump reap first because again it's one of the shorter range attack cards they have and be a while before they get into a proper attack range. You like even if you get to use it on your first cycle, you're not doing much with it usually. Fixing your volume because you were very quiet for me. I do feel like uh, Aerodyne should be focusing a bit more on these early turns than they have been to try and develop their passive specials. Yeah, I think that card really is a trap a lot of the time. Oh, pressure, yeah. Pressure is, is fantastic like, as a punish when you can punish, but you have to basically have them stripped to zero aura for it to be really 
really good or be able to get the flinch off later. Yeah, exactly. Uh, playing it the first round is a trap unless you're Kimika and you're just trying to completely drain them of resources. Yeah, Even if now, you can put them in the dilemma where it's like, oh, if I get rid of this aura, am I going to take two life damage? Then it becomes pretty nasty too, absolutely. But I do not think Hatsumi has that pressure. The 3-2 is pretty nasty here, so that might pay off. It's like it does. This is all the more reason that the Aerodyne needs to be able to get to four flare now, though, so they can start draining that that flare from Maru. Oh, did you see construction? Is Erosha in there? Yeah, erosion. Really? It's it's erosion and Coxwain and uh, Lighthouse. Okay, so Aerodyne, just so. full on control. Yep, very very passive specials. And uh Marus are very aggressive. I think it's the uh Eternal Migrant and Tsukikage. What was the third one? Oh, uh Perpetual Wind. Yeah, so very like just all attacks. Oh, Eternal Migrant coming out early. I don't know if I like that, but I guess it... I rarely like the three-card hand when I'm going to reshuffle. Yeah. Could have played the, the dash first and, and thrown that into the mix. My guess here, though, is oh, maybe not. Like, maybe a plan is to get a vigor and then put it on top of the deck. Oh, yeah, that is possible with song and dance, absolutely. And I guess it doesn't matter that way, you can kind of even it out even if you do it later. You just have to clear your hand, which you can do with Sunny Stage afterwards. So. Huh. Erdine aggressively preserving aura here. You did say they needed four flare. Oof. No, this is not looking good for Erdine. <laughs> You have to maintain a life lead if you're going to go for control, especially against Hirina nonsense. Mm. Do you think the control specials are the right choice in the arena matchup? I I think the specials that I think Coxwain is a good pick. I think the other two are better in a control mirror. Like Lighthouse only really going to stop I guess it could stop Song and Dance. So I know it's on your turn, right? Not on the opponent's turn, never mind. Yeah, so it won't stop the reactions, but it, it'll stop uh, Sunny Stage. That's all it's going to do. I really think uh, Utsuro's reaction special would have been... Utsuro's reaction special would have been an amazing take, especially against Tokoyo, because you can stop the special reaction from canceling you. Oh, and you also turn off... Uh, the after air effects on attacks. Yeah. You turn off... Uh, Disenchant effects. And you make it so Yurina has to play at your range if she wants to use Tsukikage. Like, it only works at distance four. No, I think that, that would have been a, a much better defensive card than Lighthouse here. Um, 
possibly better than the uh, Coxwain straight, but which honestly I think should have been played over Lighthouse that last turn. Just to start getting some bigger denial going on, and uh, the plays itself for free every time you're in headwind, and you're going to be in headwind a lot the way Mars set this deck up, so. Oh, there goes the reaction. Perpetual Wind claiming another victim. Aerodyne didn't have that when Glancing Strike was played, right? Or did they just forget? By definition, wouldn't like there's no other way they could have drawn a card, so they had to have had it, right? That's rough. Oh well. How we learn. Two. It is in range. Oh, and it's going to get thrown out. Oh, feels bad. All right, I think this is over. That's all right. Erdine made like just some fundamentally bad trades in the early uh game. It's the beginner play. Right, because that increases the mastery distance, you can just do a retreat action from there. Now. Okay. Well. 
solid performance from Mario. Uh, and yeah, Ardeen has a lot to learn still, so all there is to say there.